Leaders in Oregon agriculture are those who recognize the need to change, adapt, and take the steps necessary to create a better future for the industry. Leaders also are not afraid to take on controversial issues and stand up for what's right while carefully navigating support for a successful resolution. At a relatively young age, Greg Satram of Willamette Egg Farms has established himself as an industry leader. Born and raised on the farm outside of Malala, young Greg was destined to stay in the family business. With a big sister to watch over him, there were definitely all kinds of signs that the poultry industry was his future. As a young boy, Greg would work and play on the farm, which was primarily an egg-laying operation. Dad Gordon and Grandpa taught him a lot, and the family was all connected through Willamette Egg, formed back in 1934 by a great uncle who collected eggs from neighboring farms and distributed them locally. The company got more into the production end of things, and Greg spent a chunk of time in the hen houses when he wasn't riding bikes. By the time he graduated from Malala High School and then on to Oregon State University, Greg was well versed on egg production and had a good idea how to ensure the health and welfare of the hens. Right about this time in the early 90s, Greg married Lori and the next generation of Satchams soon followed. Among his many duties at Willamette Egg Farms, Greg helped run construction crews that were building more hen houses. Caring for the birds and managing the production facilities have been the primary duties ever since. In recent years, the issue of animal welfare has intensified. Greg's background, having designed the hen houses himself, has been a huge asset in the industry's proactive efforts to address what had become a national concern. The Pacific Northwest egg industry had never been a tight association, but at this critical moment, when animal welfare groups were heading up ballot initiatives on the West Coast, the industry needed a leader to step forward. Greg Satram emerged, and he immersed himself into the issue. His conversations and discoveries led him to understand that the current industry system of housing egg-laying hens, a target for those who felt the birds were crowded into cramped cages, was not going to be acceptable in the future. Greg did not want to take a status quo position in the face of potential legislation. An enriched colony housing system was something the industry needed to adopt. And rather than have someone else telling egg producers what to do, it was better to develop an industry standard with the input of the industry. With the passage of Senate Bill 805, Greg showed the egg industry nationally how the battle can be won in state legislatures. This was the first time anyone in the industry had tried a proactive solution to the issue. Knowing that consumers are concerned about animal welfare, Greg believes there's now something they can be comfortable with. While Amid Egg is always open for tours, and Greg has personally led the way in proudly showing anyone the entire operation, knowing that seeing is believing. And the chickens at Willamette Egg are healthy and well cared for. If consumers still have an issue with the housing, Willamette also offers cage-free production. The direction the industry is moving combines an efficient production system with more room for the birds in a time frame that's reasonable. Greg is credited with having an outstanding approach to the difficult issue. His upbeat, optimistic nature has won over all sides of the controversy. Whenever possible, Greg Laurie and their four boys fly the coop in exchange for some recreation and leisure. Oh, and to root on the beeves. We honor Greg Satchum tonight for his leadership and contribution to Oregon's egg and poultry industries and all of Oregon agriculture. For individual contribution to agriculture, Greg Satram. Thank you very much. Uh, I just want to start by thanking my beautiful wife for making the trip out here with me. Thanks, thanks honey. Um, so just for the record, that chicken actually did ride on my tricycle and got quite good at it. There's, the end of that story is not pretty, so we'll just leave that alone. Um, yeah, so this is just tops off a really interesting year and a half in the egg business. Um, 
you know, we, we knew uh, that we faced a serious challenge. Uh, like it or not, we were going to be seeing increased regulation, um, whether it came uh, through a ballot initiative or uh, legislation. Uh, that, that was just what we were, the reality that we were facing. So, uh, you know, the, the one thing that we knew as we looked at the folks that were coming against us is that we did have home court advantage. And whenever you're dealing with, you know, a hundred million plus a year uh, organization, you use what you have as best you can, because uh, certainly it was a challenge. And uh, so working, you know, with folks like uh, Northwest Food Processors Association, uh, Oregon Farm Bureau, even, you know, forming a relationship with Oregon Humane Society, uh, which was a real surprise, you know, in some ways to me. Uh, you know, we found, and also, you know, Oregon Dairy Farmers uh, helped out. Uh, we found that we actually did have a pretty good home court advantage and uh, were able to, to use that to get the legislation passed that we did. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of mixed feelings about having, uh, you know, farm standards and statute, and I, I understand those concerns completely, but uh, the, the, it's just the world that egg farmers live in today. So uh, we, we try to make uh, lemonade out of lemons. So anyway, thank you very much and uh, appreciate it a lot. And thank you to Department of Ag as well.